everyone, Leanne O'Shea here from Leaders Being Leaders. It's great to be here with you all today. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun and we're going to be discussing workplace success with the fish philosophy. Has anyone heard of the famous pike fish market in Seattle? Well today I'm going to share with you the um, culture of that market and why so many businesses and organisations across the world now utilise their four ingredients to enjoy um, the workplace, but also utilise those philosophies in life as well. So really, when you choose to love the work that you do, you can catch your own limits of happiness and meaning and fulfilment in every day. So when you think about it, we do spend 75% of our waking hours either travelling to work, thinking about working, working, or even just um, decompressing after work. So it is relatively important, wouldn't you think, that we do enjoy our work. So let's look further at what we're going to be covering today in our workshop on the famous Pike Fish Market and their philosophy for workplace happiness. So at the end of this workshop, you really should be able to understand the four practices of the fish philosophy in your workplace. It's about being present, how to play, making someone else's day and your own attitude. We're going to ensure that core values are in place and in action, developing and main maintaining trust in the workplace, using adversity to your advantage and also awareness of who you're being as you do what you do. So the FISH philosophy really is a set of simple practical tools designed to help create a positive work culture by improving morale and performance. It's a way of building stronger relationships that equip you to face your challenges more effectively. The FISH philosophy fulfills the most basic needs of human beings who in turn fulfill the needs of the organisation. So more connected teams, better communication, extraordinary service and a higher retention. So what are the four ingredients of the FISH philosophy that were observed at the famous Pike Fish Market? Well number one, it's about being there is being emotionally present for people. It's a powerful message of respect that improves communication and strengthens relationships. Number two, play. Now play taps into our natural way of creativity, enthusiastic and having fun. Play is the spirit that drives the curious mind, as in let's play with that idea. It's a mindset you can bring to everything that you do. Number three, make their day. is finding simple ways to serve and delight people in a meaningful, memorable way. It's about contributing to someone else's life, not because you want something out of it, because but because that's the person that you want to be. Now you guys all work in customer service throughout the state in your own community resource centres. So it's really important that these four principles are understood so you can take them back into the workplace and enjoy your work a lot more. Now the last one is about choosing your attitude, which means taking personal responsibility to how you respond to what life throws at you. So let's look at the history of the famous Pike Fish Market. Now it was actually back in 1997 when two gentlemen, John Christensen and Stephen London, observed how happy and playful the employees were at the Seattle's Pike Fish Market. They filled orders by simply just flinging fish and encouraging the customers to join in. They were just giving their complete attention to everybody that came into the market. Now what John and Stephen observed was that fishmongering wouldn't be a very enjoyable job normally. Early hours, very cold environment, um, exhausting and really is just a repetitive job. But it occurred to them that the fishmongers really chose to bring joy to how they approached each day. So they asked the fish market if they could film them in action going about their day-to-day -day activities in the workplace 
And what they found from observing that film, there were four ingredients to the success of the workplace. And of course, I've shared those with you and I'll tell you again, it's about being there, play, make their day and choosing our attitude. Now from that video that was produced on the fish market, um, and that video was released in 1998, the video was translated into 18 languages and many books were produced from that video. So I certainly encourage you all to explore the famous Pike Fish Market on YouTube. There's lots of great videos to watch. And I think once you've watched the video, you'll understand fully what I'm sharing here with you today. You need to have that visual of what's going on at the marketplace to see how those employees have chosen the attitude to create the success that they have every day that they go to work. Um, so the FISH philosophy really is a set of work-like practices commonly used to improve what is referred to as the culture of that organisation. And so I want to share with you that when you're watching the video and you're thinking about the four ingredients that I share with you today and going through the detailed manual that you'll receive on the FISH philosophy, it's not about simply just throwing fish around. There is so much more to it. And of course, you can apply these four ingredients to your life and to the workplace. So let's look at it a little bit further. What does it mean to be there, to be present? Being there means that when people need you, they need all of you. Setting aside distractions and judgments to be mentally and emotionally present is a sign of respect. It improves communication and strengthens relationships. The fishmongers really have discovered the power of focusing on one person and one thing at a time. So really the antidote for burnout isn't necessarily rest, it's wholeheartedness. Now what do I mean by that? Well, it's the half-hearted things that we do while juggling so many other jobs that really does wear us out. When advanced team members interact, they are not only physically present, but they are wholeheartedly present. So to be present, observe what is going on around you, be there with a helping hand to others when they need you. Many of us need to practice this. It does take a lot of work to understand what it means to be present and to focus on someone fully. So with so many demands on our time, we often find being present um, way down on our list of priorities. But when you practice it and you're aware of where your thoughts are um, when you're actually working with a customer, you'll start to be more and more present each day. So I encourage you to practice it more. What's the next one? Making their day. And this really does fit into your workplace, the community resource centres. So it's about finding simple ways to serve or delight people in a meaningful, memorable way. It's about contributing to, uh, to someone else's life, not because you want something out of it, but because that's the person you want to be. So simple gestures of thoughtfulness, thanks and recognition certainly make people feel appreciated and valued. When you make someone else feel good, you feel good as well. So on entering the market, you would think that you were being entertained. Wrong. The fish, markers, fish mongers are dedicated to making your visit memorable and they do it by finding ways of making the customer's day. Our working days are full of opportunities to make the day not only of our customers but our fellow team members as well. A small kindness of or remembering a name, a word of support during difficult times. So when you're making someone's day, you are focused on serving another. So let's look at that a little bit further, making someone's day. Celebrate every day's actions that strengthen the team's commitments to its values. Recognise people in the moment when it matters most. Increase trust and teamwork. Give specific praise that encourages people to do it again. Encourage people to achieve more than they thought they could achieve. 
So the importance of play, you're probably all wondering what this means and really play taps into your natural way of being creative, enthusiastic and having fun. Play is the spirit that drives the curious mind, as in let's play with that idea. It's a mindset you can bring to everything that you do. Work made fun gets done. So play is not about games or toys, it's about your state of mind. Be creative in your problem solving. Encourage people to dare to dream. How can everyday tasks be fun and challenging? Play energises you and the people around you. Now remember that this is not just about throwing fish. Now, of course, I encourage you to go onto YouTube. There's so many great websites and videos that you can watch on the um, famous Pike Fish Market in Seattle. So why is it so important to be aware of our attitude? Well, choosing your attitude means taking personal responsibility for how you respond to what life throws at you. Once you are aware that your choices impacts everyone around you, you can ask yourself, is my attitude helping my team or my customers? Is it helping me to be the person that I want to be? Your attitude is your reaction to what life hands you and only you can choose the reaction. So we can bring a moody attitude and have a depressing day. We can bring a grouchy attitude and irritate our coworkers and customers or we can bring a sunny, playful, cheerful attitude and have a great day. We can really choose the kind of day that we want to have. So again, there are four ingredients to the famous pike fish market, but this one really is the core, choosing your attitude. Without choosing your attitude, the others really are just a waste of time. So, all of you work for a wonderful organisation. So what attitude are you taking into your community resource centre? Consider it every day and choose to take the best attitude into your workplace. So let's look a little bit further in regards to who are you being? So your awareness of who you are being helps you to lead with greater intention and consistency. When you are focused on who you are being, it affects everything you are doing. People see that your deeds match your words and you lead with greater influence and fulfilment. A lot of the things that are discussed here today in regards to the fish philosophy are detailed in your manual. And like with each broadcast, I do encourage you to go through the manual in detail. Go through it with your work colleagues, your manager, even families and friends at home. There's only four ingredients to the fish philosophy, but those four ingredients can have a powerful impact, not only in the workplace, but also in your personal life as well. So let's look a little bit at adversity and positive thinking. Now, if you look for negativity, you'll be sure to find it, wouldn't you agree? But let's look at the positivity of adversity. Empower yourself to respond to challenges and problems in a constructive and positive way. So adversity sure does open up new doors if we choose to. Adversity builds confidence and self-esteem. Adversity teaches us valuable lessons. Adversity encourages to make change and take action. Adversity brings out our hidden potential and adversity teaches us to be grateful. Adversity certainly does give us perspective as well. So choosing to be positive again takes a lot of work but it's all in our attitude. Are you looking negatively at adversity or are you looking at adversity as a positive challenge in your life? So the benefits of implementing the four agreements that we've discussed today as a part of the FISH philosophy are to provide superior service that makes customers want to return. Build a culture where employees love to give their best every day. Build effective leaders who inspire through their example. 
build cooperative teams, improve teamwork and build trust, increase productivity, develop business strategies and set organisational goals, implement change management strategies when required, develop a positive workplace culture, assist with staff retention programs, build client relations. So in summary, the famous Pike Fish Market really does set an extraordinary example for all teams to model. The overall advice is to love what you do. And this motivational message will surely resonate with leaders who already believe in the power of enthusiasm and positive thinking. So remember the Pike Fish Market has taught us to be present, to make our customers day, to be playful and to choose our attitude that we are taking into the workplace. So the slide that I've got here on the screen is something that I want you to consider printing out and putting on the wall in your workplace. Teams are made up of groups of individuals. We are all personally responsible for who we are being in each moment and the attitude that we choose to bring with us to work each day. Our decisions affect all those we encounter each day. When we choose to engage fully with life, life will be rewarding. So take the lessons from the fish philosophy into your workplace and create an environment that is happy and productive. So post this notice in as many locations around your workplace. Now you should have it in your workbook there, um, so it's very easy to for you to print out and it's also in your manual. So like all broadcasts, we like to finish it with some words from the wise. And today I want to share with you that the last of the human freedoms is to choose one's attitude. And like I shared with you, the fish philosophy, there are four ingredients to the success of the workplace. But without the right attitude, the other ingredients are just a waste of time. So we love to recommend some books to you. Now in your manual, there is a great list of books that we've shared with you, but today I've only got four on the screen. And of course, the one that I'm gonna to recommend to you today is actually The Fish Philosophy. Now you can actually download a free um, PDF version of the book on the website. And I really encourage you to print it off. It's only about 40 pages and it's very easy to read and it really does explain it. Um, in easy, simple terms to understand how you can implement those four ingredients into your workplace, even though you're not a fish market. So we do encourage you to send through any questions that you have, but what I really want to encourage you to do is go through the manual in detail. There's actually some tasks that you complete personally in the manual, and the manual goes into a lot more detail than what we've had time for today in this broadcast. The famous Pike Fish Market can be researched on the internet and I encourage you to view the videos on YouTube. You'll have a better understanding of um, the concepts that we have shared with you today. So my name's Leanne O'Shea. It's great to connect with you all um, within the workplace, wherever you are across this great state. You work for a wonderful organisation, the Community Resource Network. So enjoy the training material that we share with you. Make sure you print off the manuals and continue to refer back to them. You've got your workbook there that you can take notes, utilise them in staff meetings, um, have a chat to your manager about them and get the most that you can out of our training. It's great to be here with you all. Until next time, have a great day.